A lot of people are obviously not ever going to be born again. They're just never going to get to understand um, why they should believe that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Um, and that is really a shame. And it's one of the things that um, the accusers, the Satans use um, to abuse Christ and Christians. They say, what kind of a God would allow all these people to go to hell? They're talking about themselves is the first thing that you have to understand. And trying to drag um, the, the other people who are not born again into their way of thinking so that they have a negative thought. This is how uh, Satan works with negativity. You know, God says to Adam and Eve, don't eat from that tree or you'll surely die. The devil comes along and says, you won't surely die. A little bit of doubt. Yeah, and that is also uh, how they work to make you uh, doubt God's infinite love, wisdom, power and glory. <laughs> because, you see, the thing is, yes, a lot of people uh, do not know um, what they should know to become born again. So, what's going to happen to them? Well, let's just take this now to the cross with Jesus Christ crucified um, in agony. And what does he do? Does he cry out for help for himself? No. He says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Who was he talking about? Was he talking about the people there who were, um, who were abusing him while he was dying, who had called out for his death? Was he? You see, the thing is, yes, he was, but he was also crying out for everyone who's not going to be born again. For everyone who has never known what they should know about God. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And what does God Almighty do when Jesus prays? He answers that prayer. Jesus' prayers are always answered. So, you see, you're worried about family members. You're worried about friends. Except you've done everything you can to bring them to Jesus Christ. And they just won't come because... They have been deceived. God said the whole world shall be deceived. And Jesus Christ on the cross said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. That applies to those people too. So you see, God loves us so much, he sent his only begotten son to give himself as a sacrifice to save us. Do you think that God giving himself as a sacrifice is some small thing. No, he done it for you people as well who don't know him and won't even take the time to go looking for him. I'll say it's because you're deceived. And I'll say this again to you. For you, Jesus Christ said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. He didn't even think about himself on that cross. He thought about us. Why? Because he loves us. How much? Stretch out your arms. That much.